In this video, what I want to talk about is a bleed-off circuit for the speed control in a hydraulic system. So here I have a 4-3 directional control valve controlling the double-acting cylinder. And here I have a pressure-compensated flow control, or a pressure-compensated needle valve. Depending on who you're reading, they can use both uh, terms. Going down a tank, which is teed off of my A-line right here, going to the blind end of my cylinder. Okay? And how this works is when I shift to this position, oil will come up. A set amount of oil will flow through here to tank. The rest of it will come to here and extend this out. And the reason this works to slow the cylinder down is part of the flow is diverted back to tank, where then the rest of it is going to the cylinder to extend it out. Now when it goes to retract, all this oil will go down here because it'll take the path of least resistance through here and it'll filter down. So in this case, we're only going, we're only bleeding out on the extension. If I were to switch these sides, it would be bleeding out on the retract, on the retraction. Okay? So um, now there's a couple of weird little things about bleed off circuits that you want to be aware of. One, they should be pressure compensated. This will give you more consistency for speed over a wider range of pressures. Two, they're generally used with fixed pumps. They can be used with variable pumps, but their reliability kind of goes away. They do generate a little bit of heat, okay? So they're not great, and they're not the most accurate compared to your meter in and meter out circuits, which I have other videos on. Your bleed off is not your most accurate, okay? And so let's go through some numbers here. So let's say that this pump was delivering five gallons per minute, okay? So there's my uh, flow meter. So I'm doing five gallons per minute, all right? If I add two gallons per minute flowing this way, this will extend out at a rate of three gallons per minute. Okay, at least that's how much flow will go to the cylinder. Now here's what's weird. Typically when you think about a needle valve or a flow control valve, if you tighten it up, it slows down. But now with the bleed off circuit, this is very different. If I come in here and I start tightening this down, less flow will come through here and more will go to the cylinder. But if I start to open this up, the cylinder will actually slow down because more flow can get through here. So it's, it's very different than meter in and meter out because meter in and meter out, you just have to focus on which one to tighten to slow it down in the right direction. Here, it's the opposite. We need to open this up to slow the cylinder down. Again, bleed off circuits are not super accurate, but they are used out in industry. And so be aware of them if you ever see them out there. Now, just so you know, if I wanted to make this a bleed off circuit in this direction, all I would do is just drop this down here. And then when I go to, when I go to retract, if I have a load on here, part of this is going to be filtered through here. And if I wanted these, if I wanted a flow meter in both directions, if I wanted to control, if I wanted to control the speed in both directions, I would draw it up. I would draw it up like this. Okay. And so this is a bleed off circuit. Um, again, there are typically three ways you control the speed of a cylinder to make it variable: and your meter in, your meter out, and your bleed off circuit. Okay, so if you're curious about meter in and meter out, I have another video on that in my library, and I'll link it to the end uh, of this video. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're interested, follow me on Instagram at Cleep Tech. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.